Uh, today we're at a little Vauxhall Corsa again, it's a little Vauxhall Corsa van and what it was, uh, so my friend uh, was needing an alternator so we put another alternator on it and when he put the heat, it smelt burning but when he put the temperature gun on it, it was about 80-90 degrees so we reckoned it was needing another alternator because the new one was faulty and apart from that the, the battery warning light was coming on as well so what I've done here, we've put a ramps clamp on it and we'll just put it to volts DC and you can see here that do the conversion, you just times it by 10 so this, this alternator is putting out 60 amps uh, and that's where the lights on and the blower motor on and it seems to be fine at this there we go oh, wrong way it's got a management light on but the alternator light has not came back on so that's good so what we'll do is we'll check, we'll know that's at 60 We'll put the lights off and we'll put the blower motor off and we'll see what our amperage drops to now. Actually here the engine note change. So there you go. Just a normal load on. You're looking about 15 amps and that seems to be normal. And uh, I've always found it quite hard to diagnose ripples but uh, let's drop the voltage here. That looks quite normal I would say. Anyway, so as I say, it was a faulty alternator, must have been the first one. So it just shows you, new isn't always good. Oh, well, actually, see what the residual voltage coming out of this is. See what comes out of that, there we go. It drops, I'm saying residual current, so it drops to absolute zero. So there you go, just a quick tip, just to check the output and alternator. In fact, here's a spec sheet here. So it says there, the maximum output is 83 amps, it's the second one down at 14.45 volts. So that's the spec sheet that came with it. So hopefully this one will be good. Cheers.